Hello Aries, hope you're doing well. This is a reading for you, so let's see what's coming up in your reading. Queen of Cups. Eight of Wands. Good. Four of Pentacles. So in the past where you haven't had emotional satisfaction, I think there's going to be. Right next to the Queen of Cups in the row representing your current energy is the King of Cups. Divine counterparts right opposite each other there. They are looking in opposite directions the way they are on the table. If the King would have come first and the Queen would have come second, that wouldn't have been the case. So for some, this could be a situation that you were involved in um, that you maybe want to come back into your life. For others, this is about manifestation, thoughts becoming things. The magician has tools on the desk in front of him re representing all of the suits in the tarot. So he has mastery of all suits. Swords, the army. Cups, the priesthood. Pentacles, the bankers. Wands, the farmers. Ace of swords. So it looks like whatever you have been working on manifesting is currently coming to you or you are at least doing the right thing. Life can be just a game of manifesting. Being in the energy of the vibration and the alignment of the things that you want in your life. Being in that energy can create a really good sort of um, bubbly, high vibrating frequency within you, whether you have the thing or not. Okay, Aries, in your future, 
the first card is the is the death card. So it looks like a transformation, a huge transformation is coming up in the future. A shedding of the skin. A shedding of all of the things that weren't working out or didn't feel right. The Hierophant. And it looks like this is a good thing. It never likes focusing on this particular card for some reason. Until now. Right next to the Magician. Two of Wands. Leadership. A sense of adventure. So for some, this reading might be talking about an ex not noticing you having walked away and you're wanting to know if they're going to notice you now I'm not that's not what the reading's telling me it's telling me that actually there's a whole new life to be enjoyed there's a whole new thing to be involved with leaving your old life behind is quite an important part of this Queen of Wands and the Three of Swords. The Queen of Wands and the Three of Swords clarifying the Queen of Cups. I did get a despondent energy on that Queen of Cups. I think there's a message there for a cross watcher. It's a message of why doesn't he fancy me? I'm better looking than I used to be. And maybe because this Aries, who you're cross watching, is going off on a spiritual quest. Six of Cups. There is that X energy showing up there again with the Six of Cups. Three of Wands. Clarifying the Four of Pentacles. Don't be holding on to the past. Don't be clinging to the past. Because it will just leave you stuck. And no second chances as well. Six of Pentacles. Two sixes in the reading. There was no give and take in that past relationship, possibly with a water sign. Ace of Wands on the Magician. So that is really stepping into your power of manifestation.
Three of Pentacles on the Ace of Swords. Teamwork makes the dream work. Quality work. They are weaving a tapestry and they are making it look good. It is a thing of quality. There is a new family for you to be working with, like a team. Mm, that one wanted to be seen. Mm -hmm. Let the unknown things or any betrayal of the past just seep into the background. There is a death, it's to that. Feeling like you're just trying to find your own way in the dark whilst blindfolded. There is an end to that. I got a good feeling about the Hierophant and the star is clarifying it. So this is more than you realise. This this thing coming in in your future, this is in your future row. This work place, this team environment, this project is going to be beyond your wildest dreams, bigger than you can imagine. Okay, and what were you? Mm, mm. Teamwork. The Three of Cups right next to the Three of Pentacles. Okay, let's pull you a affirmation card. So we've got four threes and two sixes in the reading. So that might be mm, two cards came out. So let's 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 quickly do these two cards. Abundance. You do have the magician and the ace of wands right in the centre of the reading. That's massive. Abundance. It is a time for your life to flow with prosperity, love, and success. You draw from the universal limitless pool according to your belief in how much you deserve. Angel wisdom is reminding you now to believe in yourself and trust that you deserve more. Then you will attract abundance and the true riches of life. To feel surrounded by love, open your heart to others. Choose to do what fulfills you most and the angels will bring you joy, satisfaction and success. Enhance your prosperity by receiving graciously and giving out willingly and saying thank you for everything. Enjoy all you have and more will come to you. The affirmation with this card is I deserve love, prosperity and success. I deserve love, prosperity and success. Honesty is the next card. Angel Wisdom reminds you that your every thought, word, emotion and action is reflected in your aura. When you are honest, your aura is clear, crystal clear. Everyone knows where they are with you and feels totally safe. The angels suggest that you look within and purify any murky thoughts, feelings. When you are totally honest with yourself, you behave with integrity and dare to be open. For there is nothing to hide, people respect and trust you. As you radiate a resonance of honesty, people respond to you with openness and honesty in their turn. The affirmation with this is, I am honest in thought, word and deed. I am honest in thought, word and deed. Okay Aries, thanks for being here. Don't forget to check your moon and rising sign. Until next time, take care. Bye.